Hi everyone! In the first video, we talked about multiple choice questions as a form of closed-ended questions, and now we'll continue with true-false questions. As the name suggests, a true-false item consists of a statement or a proposition that a student must judge or mark as either true or false. There are at least six varieties, including true-false, yes-no, right-wrong, correction, multiple true-false, and yes-no with explanation. Teachers often use true-false items because first, certain aspects of the subject matter readily lend themselves to verbal propositions that can be charged true or false. They are relatively easy to write. 3. They can be scored easily and objectively. And 4. They can cover a wide range of content with a relatively short period. However, as you can see on the slide, there are also a number of drawbacks. For instance, true-false questions are subject to error because students can answer them by using random guessing. When crafting true-false items, you need to create pairs of items, one truth and one false, related to the same idea even though you will use only one. If your statement asks students to make evaluation judgment, the best is, the most important is, try to rephrase it as a comparative statement, compared to A. A is better than. Write statement that reflect the actual misconceptions held by students who have not achieved the learning. You may wish to convert a multiple choice item into two or more two false items. Now, we move to the criteria to evaluate two false questions. There are 10 points listed on the slides. Please refer to them as you finish draft test items to ensure the quality of the questions. So, that's all about some main features of closed-ended questions, particularly multiple choice questions and true-false questions. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.